From the WGLT Newsroom, I'm Eric Stock. Illinois State University President Andave Tarhule says if the university does nothing, it'll have a $32 million deficit in three years' time. During the annual State of the University Address, Tarhule announced one of the first austerity steps is a pay freeze for this fiscal year. Every time we give a salary increase of 1%, it adds $2.6 million to our payroll. Tarhule says the university is being proactive, so there will be no program cuts or department mergers. He did not rule out the eventual possibility of a deeper program review, but said ISU does not need that now. Normal West High School has started a pilot program to moderate student phone use. Phones are allowed in some spaces and not others. Unit 5 Superintendent Kristen Weichel says the plan is to survey staff, parents, and students soon. Because each group brings a different perspective and experience, and so we need all of that to really make an informed decision. Weichel says Normal West is the only school to stray from the district's phone policy since the school board said it would start looking to make changes. A new initiative is launched to monitor air quality in Bloomington Normal. Three new sensors track ozone levels and pollution in West Bloomington and North Normal. One sensor has been placed on West Market Street on property owned by Mount Pisgah Baptist Church. Clean air and clean water is a God-given right. Mount Pisgah Deacon Kevin Johnson says he sees the church's role as educating and inspiring the public to play an active role in public health. West Bloomington was identified as having increased risk of air pollution and cardiopulmonary disease. And the case challenging Illinois' assault weapons ban is now in the hands of a federal judge. Capital News Illinois reports the plaintiffs and state's attorneys delivered to closing arguments today. Maintaining their positions, plaintiffs claim the ban violates the Second Amendment. The state holds that the weapons included in the ban are meant for military use and therefore subject to regulation. Find more news at WGLT.org. I'm Eric Stock.